Right. So those are geckos. Very interesting because they have special pads on their feet. The leather and crawl on almost any surface. The only surfaces they can't stick to are like non-stick frying pans. When your legs don't work like they used to before. Hi, I'm Shiva. I'm a member of the Pathological Society of Singapore. So when I mentioned herbs, it's actually the study of uh, frogs and amphibians. The full word is herpetology. People don't usually appreciate them as much as they do the nicer animals like birds. Birds are beautiful and mammals are much nicer to observe generally. So I feel that it's important for us to bring awareness of these creatures to the public because they are as important a part of an ecosystem as any other creature. Personally, I like frogs the most amongst the herbs because um, I find that they have a very interesting lifestyle. I find them very charismatic and I love photographing frogs because you can find them in a lot of funny positions naturally. They can be quite photogenic. Like tree frogs have a very typical stance on a tree and then the frogs that stay in pools also have their own standing position. So I find it very unique. I think the most exciting encounters come when someone calls for help and they're like, there's a snake in my house. Yeah, and then when you go over and look at it, you expect something dangerous, but actually it's just a harmless snake. I appreciate any snake encounter, but of course if it's venomous, there's an extra like adrenaline rush when you see it. No, I feel yeah, like appreciation for the animal itself. If you know what it is, like you can identify it for sure, there's no reason to be afraid of it. Because the snake usually just wants to get away from you. So you can either help the snake or leave your home, or if you're too afraid, you can always call uh, Acres. We have had news reports of pythons consuming people from Indonesia and all that. But in Singapore, pythons will rarely get to that size because their prey items are not that large. Yeah. They can still be dangerous because, of course, a python's bite is nasty. But if you keep a safe distance and call Acres to remove the snake, everything will go fine. Always respect the snake. Yes, yes. This is the part. Geckos are actually quite useful in your house. They eat insects like mosquitoes and flies. Those can't glide. Yeah, they will just boom, yeah, please don't do that. Please don't throw them out. If you are fine with them, you can always keep them in your house. Yeah. Plus, they don't have any, they're not dangerous. Uh, like some people say gecko is uh, poisonous, they can bite you in your sleep, but nah, they do none of those. There are lizards that can glide, such as the flying dragon in Singapore. These are a genus of uh, lizards. Uh, the genus name is Draco, which stands for dragon. So what they do is they don't fly, but they have a modified ribcage that allows them to extend the skin out. So when they extend the ribcage, it's called a potassium, and they can glide from tree to tree to escape predators. For people who don't understand herbs, I can understand because they're not the most uh, pretty things to look at, and they move funny sometimes. So we take it upon ourselves as a duty to bring awareness of these creatures, because some of them are actually quite nice to look at. So I think it's important for us to present these animals in a better light to the public, so that they know that these are not out to harm us, and they're actually uh, understandable in a sense.